Today, I ask the age-old question, should you haul cheap freight? Let's talk about that. Sorry about switching up the set on you, but I get that the title is gonna trigger a whole bunch of truckers, okay? But my request is give me a chance to explain, okay? And really, there's three reasons, right? Three reasons or three times um, or three excuses, whatever you wanna call it, three whatever, that justifications maybe that you can use to haul cheap freight, okay? And reason number one is it's a dead zone, okay? Unfortunately, there's hot spots and dead zones, and when you're going from a good area to a bad area, hopefully it's paying enough to where you, you understand that it'll be coming out real cheap. That's common sense. Should you haul cheap freight, unfortunately, in those kind of situations, you may not have a choice. So that's reason number one, right? Reason number two of why you should haul cheap freight. Reputation, okay? A shipper, maybe a broker, calls you up and tells you, hey, I have this load, okay? I, I need your help. I, I, I don't have a lot on it, okay? And so this would work better if it's a shipper, um, but if it's a broker, it'll be up to you. But they call it, maybe you've done business with them before, you know what I mean? This is one of those rare situations that you guys will have to fine tune or figure it out. They call you up and say, hey man, it's just a cheap real load, but I really, really need your help and I'll get you on the next one. How much will me hauling a cheap load this time for him help me out long term? And occasionally it's a lot. Sometimes you help out a shipper, maybe a broker, and they hook you up on the next run or they just give you freight every time you're in that area. And if it's a shipper that's like in your home base, that's that's even better. You know what I mean? Because then they call you, you're from your home base, you always got outbound freight, that's awesome. So that that is also a really good reason to consider hauling cheap freight is because it's, it'll help the company, it'll help your company reputation. Be careful that you don't end up there permanently that you aren't the you aren't the sucker that the beggars always ask money for right don't be that guy don't help out beggars all the time you're not supposed to it's okay here and there it's okay charity and whatnot that's fine but to always be the sucker that beggars go like they come running to you know what i mean that's that might be a terrible example by the way i'm sorry but but still don't be the one that always helps out the shippers when they're begging and number three okay and I think this is the one where I fall in most. Like, number three, we'll, we'll call volume. For example, you have hauled so much freight this year that adding a cheap partial or doing a cheap run will not hurt. And the question I have is, do you make more money hauling two loads a year at $30 a mile or hauling 30 loads a year at $2 a mile? Obviously, you'll make way more money hauling 30 loads at $2 a mile than two loads at 30 bucks a mile, right? And yeah, you could say, oh, well, how far is it going? Whatever. That's beside the point. For the most part, you get paid to run, not to sit around. And so if you've been running all year and it's one of those situations where it's a cheap paying load and it also helps your reputation, then that's the golden scenario, right? So. Just a quick example that, I, that that if you've done a hundred loads at a dollar fifty a mile, right? A hundred loads, dollar fifty a mile, hundred thousand miles. That means you've grossed one hundred fifty thousand dollars, roughly. Okay, this is just like round numbers. Make it easy math. And then somebody calls you up and says, "Hey, I have this load for two thousand dollars, going two thousand miles." Okay, you go well. I've already done 150,000 miles, or $150,000 gross, and I've already done 100,000 miles this year, so another 2,000 miles and another $2,000 gross, it'll lower your average rate per mile from $1.50 to $1.49. That's not a significant difference. So you want to keep in mind like that when you've done so much freight, 
and maybe it is a bad area. Maybe it will help your reputation. It's totally fine to haul a cheap load. My, my last thing is, this is a little bit of like a, a detour, I guess we could call it. So, Jordan Peterson, the GOAT, okay? He says, he, he explains uh, in one of his interviews, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's how you play. And a lot of people say that, um, and not a lot of people know what it means, and he goes out and explains it one time. And l let, me, let me show you that clip. Here's how I apply that to hot shot trucking. It doesn't matter whether or not you win the rate or you get $2 a mile, right? What matters is if you get invited to the next game and what matters is if you get invited into the next thing in life so that then you could win at business, right? It doesn't matter if you get a load, every load at $2 a mile. It matters more that you get offered the next load before it hits the load board. And that's how I'm taking it. So I don't, you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below. Let me know also what do you guys think about should you haul cheap freight. Um, and then I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Mm -hmm.